hey everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing really well in today's video i'm going to be chatting through my autumn capsule wardrobe this video has been highly requested recently and so i have pulled out around 20 of my most worn pieces throughout autumn and all of these pieces work really well together to create so many different autumn outfits um, most of these pieces I have had in my wardrobe for quite a while and so if they're no longer available then I will try and find some really great alternatives to link below in the description box um, but obviously if these pieces are still available then I will leave them linked as well. If you do enjoy the video and you find it useful please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here but let's get going with the video. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the basics. And just to mention, I am going to try to not talk too much about each piece because I did film the same video last year and I don't want it to sound too repetitive. So I'm gonna try and keep it quite snappy. Um, but first up are a white t-shirt and a black t-shirt or a v-neck. Now for me, I like to have one of each. So I've got a white t-shirt and a white v-neck, black t-shirt and a black v-neck. And I style both of them so much throughout autumn. They both work with so many different outfits and are just really great staples. Um, but you may have a preference, you may prefer a t-shirt or a v-neck. Sometimes if you're bigger busted, a v-neck can be more flattering. Um, but for me, I like to have one of each. This black v-neck is from ASOS, as is the white one that I'm wearing now. Um, they are no longer available, but you can get a really great alternative option from Mango or from Cos. They both do really nice quality um, t-shirts and v-necks. And then this white t-shirt is from Lily Silk. Again, really lovely quality, um, but you can also get great um, organic cotton t-shirts. So Mango and Cos also do really great basic t-shirts too. And on the warmer days in autumn, t-shirts and v-necks work so well styled underneath all of these jackets and blazers, underneath the knitwear, and are just such great wardrobe staples all year round. And then as it gets a little bit cooler, I do tend to switch up the t-shirts for a fine knit jumper. And both of these are cashmere. I just love the way a cashmere jumper feels. In autumn, winter, I just love how soft they are, how cozy, but they still look really chic at the same time. Um, but a simple fine knit jumper will still give exactly the same look and you can pick up some really great options for around 30 pounds. So I will leave some more affordable options linked below as well. But this beige one is from Lily Silk and it's just a really lovely wearable color that works with all of these other neutral pieces. And then this black one is from Everlane and again, works really well, styled with so many of these pieces. And it's definitely one of those items that I will bring out year after year. Moving on to some more chunky oversized knitwear. And first up is this gorgeous striping knit. And I love how stripes look styled in autumn. I just think they give that real kind of little bit of a pop of interest to an outfit while still keeping it very neutral and working with all of these other pieces. Um, this one is and other stories. I did actually get this only a few months ago, um, but I have had similar jumpers to this previous years and I just think they work so well styled with all of these pieces. They work great with leather trousers, with jeans, with white jeans, underneath um, black blazers, underneath camel blazers. It's just one of those pieces that can be styled in so many different ways. I even like how it looks just draped over your shoulders for like a little bit of interest, just styled with like a white shirt and jeans and a striped jumper tied around your shoulders. It can just be styled so many different ways. And then I also pulled out this beige oversized knit and I would say any neutral or cream beige oversized knit works super well in a capsule wardrobe. Again, just great tucked into jeans, worn loose over the top of leather leggings. Also looks really great with a crisp white shirt styled underneath it as well. I love the way oversized knit looks with a white shirt styled underneath in autumn. But like I said, any oversized knit in a neutral tone will work perfectly in a capsule wardrobe. Next up is a white cotton shirt. This is obviously a wardrobe staple for all year round, but one of those pieces that I style up a lot throughout autumn. And I feel like I've definitely featured a white shirt in all of my capsule wardrobes from spring, summer. Although saying that, in spring and summer, I tend to opt more for a linen shirt. And in autumn, winter, I would go for a cotton shirt. Um, but this looks great, as I mentioned, styled underneath the chunky knits. It looks great underneath blazers, trench coats, just worn on its own with a pair of jeans, with a jumper tied around your shoulders. It also works really well in a workwear capsule wardrobe as well. Um, I just think that this is a absolute wardrobe staple and works so well styled 
in a capsule wardrobe. Moving on to dresses, and I've picked out two jumper dresses that I love, and I wanted to feature some slightly different styles to ones that I've featured in previous videos. So whereas in my autumn um, wardrobe staples video, I featured um, probably a slightly more autumnal style, like a V-neck beige one. In fact, I featured a couple that I will show you that I do also think would work perfectly in a capsule wardrobe, but I wanted to change it up slightly for this video. And so first up, I pulled out this black cashmere mini dress. I say mini, it's kind of like, I think it's just above the knee, but I usually wear it with a belt to cinch it up a little bit. And I love how this looks styled in autumn. I think it looks great styled with like chunky knee high boots for a casual day look. You can team it with black tights as well as it gets cooler and then a black blazer over the top. I think that's just such a lovely chic autumn look, something a little bit different. Um, but equally, this could dress up really well of an evening as well if you wear, wore it with heeled knee-high boots. It also looks great with chunky ankle boots as well. And the great thing about this is that it doubles up as a jumper as well. So I also style this with jeans or leather trousers in autumn winter as well. So I just tuck it in, like I'd kind of pull it up and tuck it into the top of jeans. I tuck it into the top of leather leggings as well. It's a really great piece that works styled lots of different ways. I do also have this in the beige as well. I'm pretty sure it's sold out now, but I will try and find a great alternative option to link. And then I also pulled out this gray midi dress from And Other Stories. And I love midi dresses in autumn winter. Probably this style might be slightly more suited for coming into winter or for like cooler days in autumn. But like I said, I wanted to change up the style of the dresses I was showing you in comparison to other videos. So I thought that this was a really great option for a capsule wardrobe because it works great, styled just with trainers and a leather jacket for a slightly more casual look. You can dress up with black knee-high boots and a black blazer. You can belt it in with a black belt, kind of cinch it in a little bit more. And I just think that this style of dress is so cozy and comfortable in autumn but also looks really lovely at the same time and then sticking with knitwear next up is a long cardigan and i feel like long cardigans are perfect at this time of year when it's not quite cool enough for a proper coat but you still want something cozy something long and just easy to throw on over the top of a simple outfit so i would wear this just with what i've got now a white v-neck and jeans and maybe trainers i love how it looks just styled super simply like that um, really comfortable but looks lovely at the same time uh, but it also looks great over the top of an all black outfit so i would wear this for either a black t-shirt or a black jumper black leather trousers or black jeans maybe some heeled ankle boots to dress it up a little bit more it looks lovely it's styled like that you can also switch up the tie belt that it comes with and, and pop on like a thick black leather belt to again dress it up a little bit more and it also looks great styled with an all white outfit underneath as well like some cream jeans for that lovely light neutral style this one is from and other stories i got it last year i don't think it's available anymore but like I said before, I will find some great alternatives to link instead. Okay, next up, I'm gonna move on to jeans and trousers. So starting with jeans, I have pulled out three pairs of jeans and I couldn't pick. I mean, obviously it goes without saying a pair of blue jeans is great in autumn, but I also wear washed black denim a lot and I also love how white denim looks. I think sometimes white jeans can be overlooked in autumn, winter, whereas I love how a very light, neutral outfit can look, very classic and chic. So going back to the blue denim, I actually pulled out a mid-blue wash, but I do also love how light denim can look styled in autumn as well. Um, but I guess whatever your preference is, if you prefer light denim, dark denim, mid-blue, straight, mum, wide leg, I just think a good pair of jeans that you feel good in, that suit your figure, is a really great item for a capsule wardrobe and can obviously be styled with all of these pieces, all of the jackets, the blazers, the cardigans, the jumpers, they're just all work together to create so many different outfits. I went for a washed black pair of jeans rather than a black black, just because I prefer how they look. I think sometimes they're slightly easier to style. And again, I've gone for a slim mum fit, but whatever style suits your figure more. And then these white jeans are also a mum fit. I just find them really easy to style. I think they look great with boots, with trainers, with loafers. Um, I just think they're a really flattering fit. 
and again work really well with all of these pieces as well. Next up are a pair of leather leggings and I've shown these so many times on my channel, I've spoken about these so many times but they are absolutely one of my most worn pieces throughout autumn winter every year for the past few years at least. They are so comfortable, they're fleece lined, they're super stretchy and I just think they look great styled so many different ways with oversized knits, with blazers, with cardigans, with t-shirts, with lots of these pieces just to create so many autumn outfits. So for me these are an absolute must in my capsule wardrobe. But I am also on the lookout for a really nice straight pair of leather trousers, maybe a little bit cropped, something that I can wear with a heeled ankle boot and like a t-shirt and a blazer for a slightly more I don't know, slightly more smarter look, I guess, or just a different style to a leather legging. So although I would definitely recommend these, I do think a nice, slightly smarter pair of leather trousers works so well in an autumn capsule wardrobe as well. And then of course, a pair of smart black trousers. And obviously these work great as workwear, but also look really lovely styled as autumn outfits as well. I love the way a pair of black trousers look styled with loafers and a trench coat as like a smart casual day look. They look great styled with a blazer and a pair of trainers, great with knitwear as well. I just think you can't go wrong with a nice pair of black trousers. Okay, moving on to jackets and blazers. And I'm gonna start with blazers. And I've got three here to show you. I've narrowed it down to three. Um, if you follow my channel already, you will know I'm a huge fan of a good blazer. I love how they look styled all year round, but particularly in autumn, I just think they work so well with all of these pieces. So I've done quite well to narrow it down to three. Um, but I'm gonna start off with a black blazer just because I mean, this is an absolute must for an autumn capsule wardrobe for me. I just, I wear a black blazer so much in autumn. It looks great with blue denim, with white denim, with black denim, with leather trousers, with black trousers, over the top of the jumper dresses, with shirts, with basically all of these pieces and can make an outfit feel so much more smarter and put together just by popping a black blazer over the top. This one is from Everlane. I got this last year. I'm pretty sure it's still available now, but I will also leave some alternatives linked below as well. Mango do really great black blazers. H&M do some really great affordable options. Um, but I just think it's a really, H&M do some really great affordable, Mango do some really great black blazers, H&M do some really great affordable options, but I definitely think a black blazer is a must for a capsule wardrobe. Next up, I went for a camel blazer, and this is another piece that I style a lot in autumn. Again, looks great with a white t-shirt or a white v-neck and blue denim, looks great with black denim, with leather trousers, over the top of dresses, it just works styled so many different ways. And I think whether it's camel or any kind of neutral blazer, I think like a beige or even a gray blazer, I think a nice light neutral blazer works really well in a capsule wardrobe. And I also went for this brown checked blazer and I wasn't going to feature this because I'd say it's not necessary for an autumn capsule wardrobe. I mean, not that any of these pieces are, it's all kind of a personal preference, but I do love how this blazer looks styled in autumn. I just think it brings something a little bit different to my autumn wardrobe. It's got almost a little bit of a country chic vibe to it. And I just love the warmth that it brings to an all black outfit, a little bit classic. I just love how it looks styled in autumn. And again, with white t-shirt and jeans, with an all black outfit, over dresses, with leather trousers, I love how this looks. And I did actually debate between um, featuring this one and the one I'm wearing now because they are very similar. But I'd say that this is slightly smarter, it's a little bit longer, a slightly thinner fabric, whereas this is more of like a wool, it's a little bit warmer, a little bit of a boxier fit. Um, both lovely, both similar, but I do think that they work really well styled with an autumn capsule wardrobe. Next up is a leather jacket. And I feel like this is one of those pieces that once you invest in a good quality leather jacket, it will stay in your wardrobe for years and years. And again, this looks great styled up in autumn. I think it looks lovely styled with black jeans and a black t-shirt or a black jumper as an all black outfit. I think it looks great just chucked on with a pair of blue jeans or even with white denim. But I also love how a leather jacket looks styled over the top of dresses in autumn winter. I just think a knitted dress or even like a regular um, kind of midi dress 
styled with a leather jacket and a pair of trainers is a very simple autumn outfit before it gets too chilly this one is from all saints i got this a few years ago really beautiful quality leather jacket it does now come with gold hardware as well which i think is really lovely especially because i tend to wear a lot more gold jewellery or bags with gold hardware on them as well i do think it would look lovely with the gold hardware um, so i will leave that one linked below as well but i just think a good quality leather jacket works really well in a capsule wardrobe and then finally a trench coat and i decided to go for a trench coat rather than a kind of classic wool coat just because i think that that would be something i would feature more in a winter capsule wardrobe although i do also style it in autumn i was trying to kind of keep it to a minimum and I thought that a trench coat is one of those pieces that I wear so much in autumn and I love how it looks styled with all of these pieces but I will also be filming a winter capsule wardrobe in the next couple of months and obviously there'll be some more kind of like chunkier knitwear and coats and those kind of pieces in that video and I decided to go for this trench coat even though I have got a few different styles of trench coats that I wear a lot and in fact you may have seen me style some of them up with some of the different outfits in this video just to change things up slightly um, but I decided to pull out this one just because I think it's such a classic style of trench coat very classic color very classic shape it's double breasted it's got the belt it's a really great length I'm five foot six by the way for comparison so you can kind of see how these pieces fit on me um, and I'm wearing this in a size extra small it's from Everlane I got it a couple of years ago but they do bring out the same style each year so if it's available it will be linked if not there'll be some great alternative options linked but I just think that a trench coat works so well well in autumn and again it looks great styled over the top of these dresses i actually filmed a reel yesterday styling a trench coat it wasn't actually this one but it's a very similar style over the top of a little knitted dress like this and i thought that looked lovely as a autumn outfit it equally looks great with like an all black outfit leather trousers black jeans blue jeans white jeans i know i'm kind of like repeating myself but the idea is that all of these pieces work so well styled together hopefully the cutaways and the outfits will speak for themselves and you can see how easy it is to style up all of these pieces for accessories i've kept it to a minimum i've gone for a black belt and a tan belt this one is old from Topshop, just a really simple black belt with a brushed gold buckle um, again i'll find a similar one to link instead but i just think any classic black belt works really well for an autumn capsule wardrobe i am actually thinking of investing in like a nice quality luxury belt i do quite like the ysl belt um and i also love the black celine belt as well this one is the tan celine belt and i just think this adds so much to a simple autumn outfit um, but obviously it doesn't have to be a designer belt this one i think was around 20 pounds and i've worn it so so much and then for bags i've narrowed it down to two i went for a classic black bag and a tan bag and again i think that these work with pretty much all of the outfits don't get me wrong you may have seen in the cutaways i had other bags with each outfit but the majority of the time i would reach for a tan or a black bag in autumn i just think that they both work well with all of the autumnal tones this black one is from chloe and the tan one is mulberry but again obviously it doesn't have to be a designer bag i think any nice quality black bag or brown or tan or a neutral color works really well for a capsule wardrobe and then for footwear i'm not going to go into too much detail when it comes to footwear for an autumn capsule wardrobe just because i do want to film a separate video um, focusing on autumn winter footwear staples similar to the one i did last year um, so that should be up soon but you will have seen that with a lot of the outfits i put together in this video i styled a lot with black loafers with camel kind of tan loafers with white sneakers like a, just a simple pair of white trainers i do also style a lot of outfits with black ankle boots or black knee-high boots in autumn as well but i would say i tend to focus more on loafers and trainers this time of year and then as we come more into winter that's when i would kind of switch up for um black ankle boots or knee-high boots as well um but i will kind of go into more detail in the footwear video but that's everything for this video i really hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful and if you did please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here 
As I mentioned before, everything featured will be linked below if it's still available. If not, there will be alternatives linked as well. And I will also link the accessories and the footwear featured as well. But if you've got any questions about anything at all, then just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you feel like I've missed anything out, from this capsule wardrobe then do leave a comment below and let me know any kind of key pieces that you think are vital in a capsule wardrobe uh, but that's everything thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you again in my next video bye